their team been here non-stop since that time including the indefatigable Wayne Walker down at trackside and the entire crew bringing this champs 2012 champs the Olympic edition about to come to an end with the boys 4x4 Manchester winners at Gibson central hurdles and relays Western relays and central champs are in lane number two Set. the only big relay title that they've lost this season they've lost it to last year's champions Monroe Monroe in lane number four JC on the outside KC tracking them Manchester with O'Shane Speedy Burrell trying to catch up and uh, that's Carlton Cousins former class 3 400 champion going hard for Calabar KC caught up on the stagger so Calabar have control in this 4x4 Monroe also going very well indeed that's Michael Harrow, first year class two. They put him on the four by four. He's going hard on the second leg. Reed for Monroe in second. So Calabar head up the back straight away. And uh, Calabar with O'Haro. KC second. Reed hits the brakes to avoid KC. It's Calabar. KC. Monroe. Here comes the fast closing. Manchester team on the second. That's Omar Graham, the four hurdles, runner-up. Calabar, Manchester, Monroe, KC. This is O'Hara. What a tremendous run he's made these championships. And Manchester second. O'Hara, tremendous running by Michael O'Hara in class two. And uh, they come through. It's uh, Calabar on the third leg. They've got Jovan Francis to come. He's a 400 champion. Calabar moving away. 10 meters, but the good team of Manchester is tracking Calabar, and they are in the penultimate leg of Boys Champs 2012. Can Calabar do it? Can Monroe do it? Can Manchester win the 4x4? Let's wait and see. Juliet Cuthbert, Calabar have a big lead in the 4x4. Monroe second, Manchester third. But of course, this is the winner in the 400 meters. So of course, th I, that th I think that was a tactical move on Calabar's part to put him there to make that big lead. We see Casey coming on now. Calabar, pass to Jovan Francis. He's a 400 champion. And uh, Monroe, pass to Delano Williams. Calabar, KC, JC. That's Francis. He has an anchor leg for Calabar. Great choice by Michael Clark. Calabar lead, KC second, JC third, this is Francis, Calabar in control in the 4x4, four four. they've won this champs already, they want to celebrate with the 4x4, four four. Uh, Calabar, KC, and uh, Calabar with Francis, this is impressive for King Calabar, great running by Calabar, they're in control now, Francis has the lead, KC second, and uh, Calabar celebrate a big win at champs, with a big win in the 4x4. Four four. It's great running by Calabar. They win champs and the 4x4. Four four. 310.14 for Calabar. And uh, KC second. 310.14. And Calabar, brilliant. I think the clock's up early. I've got. And there they will be running out of lane four. Lane five, Jamaica College. Lane six, Monroe. Delano Williams and company on show once again. Lane seven, St. Elizabeth Tech. Lane 8, Wilmer's Boys. What a way to close the show, bro. Okay, viewers, that's 30651. Somebody's giving you a 6, 4, and 9. The record is 309.51, and they will correct that in a moment. We have been blessed. The race is not over yet. Jamaica is blessed. Track and field is blessed. This was a fabulous blessing for us all. Champs 2013. I'm declaring it the best ever. No two ways about that. 309.51 is on the serious track here. Delano Williams produced a mind-boggling 44-8 split at the Gibson Relays recently. They have been tense about their business in the final event at Champs 2013. The 4 by 400 meters open for boys. Down the back stretch they go the first time. They've got Manchester High, Gordon Maceo, that's Monroe, very much.
in business quite early. That's Jamaica College, Calabar in there as well, Kingston College, St. Elizabeth Technical, and uh, Woolmers ranging up nicely. Calabar, Kingston College in the middle of the pack, and Woolmers uh, nicely placed as they get set to come down the stretch for the first time. Jamaica College on their outside, Monroe, St. Elizabeth Technical comes into the middle of the pack. And on the outside, Woolmers wants to have a say as well. First exchange within the striking distance now. Kingston College, Jamaica College, Monroe, Calabar, St. Elizabeth Technical, JC, Monroe, St. Elizabeth Tech, Calabar left some way back. Woolmers there as well. And uh, here they come down the back stretch one more time. Jamaica College, Manchester High has been potent all season in this event. They were chased down by Monroe, they were the Gibson relays and relinquished a 40 meter lead. This looks like Lennox Williams now is it. Yes, on this leg for Manchester High. He's a worthy competitor. Monroe College on top now. St. Elizabeth Technical, Manchester High, Jamaica College is right there. Woodmers wants to get closer at this stage. It's Monroe from Manchester High, from Jamaica College and Woodmers. Manchester High, Jamaica College, Kingston College, smells a bit of blood and goes in serious pursuit now. And Manchester High using Gawain Stevenson, their 100 sprinter on the third leg. They've left the Shane Burrell for the anchor leg, but look at Kingston College. Hanil Harrison out front for Monroe, but only just Kingston College really breathing down the neck of Monroe now. Harrison, man from Kingston College, uh, jumps deep, but Harrison jumps deeper and goes a couple of meters clear for Monroe. This is Khalil Harrison, the son of the coach, Neil Harrison, running as if his life depends on this leg. Monroe College on top, Manchester High second, Jamaica College comes calling on the outside now. Kingston College left back in court, Calabar and Hoomer struggling as another exchange beckons now. Look at this, this is Delano Williams now on this leg for Monroe. This is a big competitor, 44-8 split at the Gibson Relays recently. Yeah, and I think you can uh, count this uh, going Monroe's way. And in fact, Manchester, they are not using a Shane Burrell, so they are using a significantly weaker team than usual in this 4x4, but Monroe on their way. This is the man who won at 100 meters, won at 200 meters, Delano Williams. Oh, he's an absolutely outstanding competitor. He's going for he's the record. He's taking aim at the record. Brings out the top end now. The record, 309.51. I told you that was in danger. Delano Williams now giving it all Don't his work for This is a fantastic performance. Five, absolutely six, magnificent. Seven, Let's eight, watch it. Nine. 309 .25. Oh, a new record once again. Stupendous. Superlative. Superb. Oh, this is wonderful running. Oh, my. There Can was no, you believe this? There was no other way, viewers. No other way that Sam could end. 309.21, another record. Two last events, the three last events. ...is in lane number one for the second leg. No Bloomfield for KC. Let's see if Crooks can bring KC home. Silver medalist, Anthony Carpenter. Will Chris Taylor run for Calabar? Last event, Championship Set. 2015. Waiting for the triple jump results as the boys get going in the 4x4. Four four. Carpenter is a smooth mover and goes up nicely for Calabar. On the outside, Marvin Williams of Steps. That's Carpenter of Calabar. Nice smooth mover. Elbows behind his back though, but nice smooth running. Steps on the outside. And uh, that's Carpenter again. Calabar, famous 4x4 history. The record 308.3 by San Diego last year. On the outside, Marvin William, Ivan Henry, outgoing senior, has caught Marvin's of sets. St. Diego and sets on the outside. Here comes KC. It's KC, JC, St. Diego, and Stets. Great first leg by JC. And uh, Carpenter a little bit back. KC has Brooks. Nice second leg, JC dropped the baton and uh, it's Tuane Crooks, former Vertec man who has the lead. Bronze last year, 4x4 World Juniors for Jamaica, looking really nice. Kingston College way out front, Seabar chasing. I believe Jaheel Hyde is also in there making an impact. 
Uh, Jamaica College coming back strongly. That's Devon Baker, former Class 2 400 champion. Finalist two times now in Class 1. This is Crooks, the little telltale sign of an injury on his shoulder, but putting in a command performance. It's Kingston College, no bloom field, as KC runs a riot here in the 4x4. Here's Jackie Hyde speeding for Woolmans. Wow. Amazing leg by Jahil Hyde. Crooks has put KC in the lead. St. Jago are well back and out of it. Can't defend their title. Robin Black of Stets zooms by Spencer Darlington and gets into second. Here they come. That's Robin Black, medicine for hurdles. Renato Wilson, Calabar, zooms past Robin Black. Gets past KC as well, or tries to. It's KC versus Calabar. Classic champs. Purple and white, green and black. And Casey hits the gas down the stretch. It's Kingston College without Bloomfield showing how good that 400 meters. Wilson comes into lane number two and goes past him. Here comes Black one more time for Stets. Ronaldo Wilson of Calabar has put his team in the lead. It's Chris Taylor on the anchor leg. <laughs> and uh, Taylor, the class two, 200 and 400 champion. Third leg by Wilson, 47.2. This is amazing. A class two first year two athlete. Chris Taylor, 45-69 this year is PB, is carrying Calabar to victory. Not only in the 4x4, but for boys championship. If Seabar wins this race, they have won boys championship 2015 and created a four-peat, four-peat at championships. Chasing for all his worth, Chad Miller of KC. Chris Taylor, just class two, fastest ever. On the 15, 15 year old 40 meter runner, tying up just a bit down the stretch. Calabar win the 4x4. Four four. Looks like they win champs as well, Bruce. Not Big run. That. They break the record. 305. It's not 305.38, but they have broken last year's record. I've got 306.8 on my club right, with Chris so Taylor. 46.3 for Chris Taylor. Brilliant running. Calabar has delivered. Calabar has delivered majorly. They end champs with a record in the 4x4. Four four. I mean, we've gone way up in the double digits for records. Chris Taylor proves his mettle and the stadium sheer pandemonium. Calabar with a command performance. The old mark 308.3 by St. Diego last year. It's been dropping in bits and bits the last few years. And Calabar, the school of Herb McKinley, and uh, after wins, the pioneers at 400 deliver a command performance. The Prime Minister and Donovan Bailey and the Minister of Sport all looking keenly. And one of the uh, education minister, all seeing the excellence that Jamaica delivers in track and field. Amazing the talent that we have in this country, and we want to continue to develop this talent. And Calabar breaking the record by more than one second, it appears more than one second and the record was set just last year kc on my clock 308.5 brilliant run by kc but destroyed by calabar at this point t wayne crooks of kc was leading and they this is where the battle jaheel hyde running a spectacular leg to get wilmers back to second but that was all she wrote for wilmers wilson of calabar bob what transfer to calabar Nice run, may know Chris Taylor is from Uerton, and Chris Taylor, this boy is a prodigy, 45-69 for 400 meters, and uh, a brilliant double here at Champs, three gold medals. There we Chris say, Taylor. triple. So, if you're wondering, that's Wilson getting a hug from one of his team coaches and managers, this is Chris Taylor, nice. Girls' championship has been won by Edwin Allen. That decision was made quite a while ago. And boys' championships now, with those 12 points from Calabar in the 4x4, speed kills is what young Chris Taylor has written on his, the back of his shirt. Has his nickname as well, Bruce? Kobe. If you frequent Facebook, you <laughs> see that. Um, he's a cub. When he goes into a lion, well, he's a caliber line, but when he grows up and develops and gets stronger and learns more about the event, hopefully, God's willing, he'll be fantastic. I like Carpenter as well. He ran early on the first for caliber. They put it all out on the track, viewers. They leave it all out on the track. 
the atmosphere, the spirit, the competition, unmatched, unmatched anywhere in the world. 30676, confirmation of the new record. Breaking the 308.31 St. Jago had set last year. 30676. So another stunning performance. Fittingly ending Champs 2015. Absolutely brilliant. Calabar. Yeah. The um, St. Elizabeth Bruce on both sides of the car. Boys yeah. and girls. They did beautifully, didn't they? No, simply amazing. And we do it every year. And each year we think this is the best ever. And then... The student athletes come out and over deliver you're looking at greater portmore this is the final race of boys champs we've seen the final race of girls champs and i think we can say congrats to edwin allen so greater portmore in one spalling in two kingston college you're looking at uh, that's greater portmore yeah they're in the one they have terry thomas on their team and he a carifta finalist from last year that's spalling lane two of course, falling some fine middle distance runners. They have done very well to get to this 4x4 final. Kingston College in three. Mark Adunat Singh on the first leg would have hoped to be in the medals at 400 flat. The former Kemp's Hill man, he starts this 4x4. 2016 champions, Calabar in lane four. Anthony Carpenter gave a magnificent run up to about 360 in that 400 final. He starts off with them tonight. Christopher Taylor is on anchor. St. Jago in five. St. Jago. Sean Bailey, the younger brother of Veronica Camber Brown, fantastic athlete, didn't look good at 400, though I wonder if he's fit. Jamaica College in six. With the Von Baker part of their team, he got to the 400 final. They also had two 400 hurdlers in the final. They will fancy their chances if the big names slip up. One of the schools that just won $1.67 million, <laughs> courtesy of Grace Monroe. Again, seven. I've, I've done well. Plummer got to the class two final, and we'll see how they do in this four by four. And the champions on the girls' side, Edwin Allen, but this is the boys' team. Edwin Allen would have fancied their chances if Rayan Holmes is in this side. Unfortunately, fainted last night just before the 400 hurdles final. And I would doubt very much that he would be a part of this team tonight. Yeah, very doubtful. Perhaps one of the most dramatic and emotional moments seeing Ryan Holmes of Edwin Allen trying and fighting with the medical team, trying to be allowed to run the finals of the 400 meter hurdles yesterday. But everybody who would have written a story about boys and girls champs would have said, can we have the two fastest 400 meter boys race each other on the anchor leg? And that's exactly what the story writers are giving us. We're going to have Akeem Bloomfield against Christopher Taylor, both running the anchor leg. Akeem Bloomfield of Kingston College, the record holder in class one, 44-93. He's also the national junior record holder for Jamaica. He will be running the anchor leg for Kingston College. Christopher Taylor, the record holder in class two for the 400 meters, 44-63, with a personal best of 45-27. He has an age group record for running the 400 meters that fast. He's also the world youth champion at 45-27. That's the big clash on the ankle leg. Casey Calabar, Akeem Bloomfield, Christopher Taylor. There is uh, Christopher Taylor waiting for his big moment. You know, Kingston College to also have Tyree Bryan, oh, Morris, the Crypto Trials under 18 winner and Bloomfield on anchor. You know what, let me just share quickly with the audience. The crowd here is so savvy. Someone was asking for the point standings before the final race. The crowd said, no, let them race. On their marks for the final event of Set. the champs. 2016, away they go. Greater Portmore, Spalding, Kingston College, Calabar, St. Jago, Jamaica College, Monroe and Edwin Allen who've gone out very quickly on the outside in lane eight. St. Jago in that yellow strip in the middle of the track going well too. Anthony Carpenter gradually builds over that first 200 in the green and black for Calabar. With Jamaica College trying to go strongly. Mark Adunansing will come forward for Kingston College. He fourth in the 400 final class one today. 
and he steps forward with Edwin Allen on the outside. Senchenko really going strongly on this first leg. Carpenter pulling forward for Calabar now. That's a good first leg run. Let's see who's going to hand over first. Calabar maybe just ahead of Senchenko, and these two are away. Kingston College in second, in third spot. Let's see how they set it down the back straight away. It's Calabar. This looks like Akeem Francis in the 400 hurdles final last night. Also third in the 400 final today. That was a massive performance. Edwin Allen in second and Senchenko back in third spot. Jamaica College fourth, Kingston College fifth. Akeem Bloomfield will have a lot of work to do if it remains this way. And I believe he will deliver big time for Casey if he's challenged. The 400 bronze medalist is pouring it on for Calabar down the home straight away. The record holders and champions on the boys' side for 2016 with the lead. Brandon Heath, the class 2 400 silver medalist, has the baton. And Kingston College in second spot. Looks like Deshaun Morris, he is the character on the 18 400 gold medalist. Brandon Heath is flying down the back straight away. Senchego going in chase now. They want a piece of the lead with Jamaica College. Looks like the Vaughn Baker running for Jamaica College. They're in fourth. And Calabar in front. Christopher Taylor looks as if he's going to have the lead over Akeem Bloomfield on this anchor leg. Look at the Vaughn Baker come forward. KC in a spot of bother. Calabar. The Vaughn Baker runs a stunning anchor leg. Calabar ahead of Jamaica College. Here's the final change. The crowd will stand because this is what they've been waiting for. Christopher Taylor has the baton. Akeem Bloomfield is back in third spot and he's gone out extremely oh. quickly. <laughs> Flies by Jamaica College and will go after Christopher Taylor. Christopher Taylor has run so much at these championships. Look at Akeem Bloomfield go. Can Christopher Taylor respond to this assault? He quickens his steps down the back straight away. 200 meters to run. It's a key blue field. Here comes Christopher Taylor. This is what the stadium wanted to see tonight. And they've gotten it. A key blue field with the lead. Christopher Taylor steps forward. Blue field is trying to hold on. Here comes the world youth champion. Christopher Taylor goes by a key blue field and wins the 4 by 4 for Calabar. It's a new record. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, no. It's not a new record, Bruce. It's not a new record. It's only 3 58 That's not even as fast as they run in the heats. The clock stopped with about 20 meters to go. Kingston College beat that 4x4. Four four. Kingston College beat that champ. And there are your champions. There they are. Calabar at 4x4. Four four. Calabar at champ 2016. Calabar high five. It's Red Hills Road. The color is Cut him off. Well, let me tell you, whatever you paid to enter the national stadium, you got your money's worth. Whatever you paid to watch on one spot media, you just got your money's worth. The splits. 44 4 for Akeem Bloomfield, 45 2 for Christopher Taylor. But uh, Christopher Taylor didn't look as if he did a lot over the first 150 and uh, saved that for the. Uh, last 100. I think he knew <laughs> that Bluefield was going to come at him. Absolutely. And so he saved a lot for that last 150. It was really a smart and mature run from that Calabar 16-year-old. It's uh, way above his years. Way above his years. Christopher Taylor sat and did an Ashley Williams on Akeem Bloomfield. You have to give it to Akeem Bloomfield. It was a really fine run. Anthony Carpenter on the first leg got things going really well for Calabar. Yes, he made it to the finals in the craft, won 400 meters, handed off, I would say first place, there you go, Carpenter handing off first. Akeem Francis, a massive surprise, bronze in the 400 because he'd done so much work, 400 hurdles, and it just didn't seem possible that he would medal, but he did. He certainly did, and Akeem Francis, the way the Calabar team ran it, they ran Class 1 to Class 1 to Class 2 to Class 2. Brandon Heath, the Class 2 silver medalist, remember? He was pulled along by Christopher Taylor then, looking for that 16 points. They got it earlier today, and Heath ran a very good third leg, held the lead. And then 
Christopher Taylor didn't have much to do. Well, Christopher Taylor is jogging at this point. Christopher Taylor has run 45-2. As soon as Akeem Bloomfield passed him, he responds. Look at this. Look at the change of pace. Bloomfield did the only thing he did he could do, which was to try a Javon Francis. But look at this. The stadium at this point is going absolutely crazy as the shorter, younger, smaller Christopher Taylor runs past the national junior record holder, Akeem Bloomfield. This is what Champ's dream is made of. This is what so many wanted to see. Yes, one, a close Champs. That 